So lately I've been watching Kanye West documentary Genius. And honestly, I gotta say this is one of the best documentaries I've seen like probably in my whole entire life. And the reason I say this is because shout out to the cameraman Cootie who left like everything he had going on in his life to go document Kanye's life. And the crazy part is that he actually started documenting his life before he was even anybody, before Kanye West was Kanye West. Honestly, this documentary has really opened up my eyes and my mind to see things in a whole different perspective inside the music industry, especially. But one of the first things I did learn when I was watching this documentary is that it's okay to be confident. And I don't mean the type of confident where you're just, you know, you know what you're doing, you know, you know what you stand for, you know what your music is like, you love what your tracks sound like you know what your beats sound like and you're very confident your sound is good but i mean confident in a way where you really truly believe in yourself you really got to manifest everything you do in your life you really got to manifest where you want to be in your life in a couple of years from now and you have to visualize that it's gonna happen there's many times in life and this has happened to me especially where you get down in life you feel very depressed you're not happy where you are right now and that usually happens because you compare yourself to other people or you're just not achieving your dreams the way you thought you were going to be achieving them there could be so many different reasons why you're not feeling confident or you're just not sure of yourself but imagine really being confident and positive that the things that you're doing the work that you're putting in every single day are going to pay out one day and they actually do that's just mind-blowing it's inspiring and let's just not even talk about the motivation that that can give you so what i mean by confident is actually manifest what's going to happen actually see the vision that you have you already envision yourself on top of the billboard charts or you already envision yourself so buying your house or you already envision yourself getting your brand new car whatever it is that you want in life make it happen manifest it that type of confidence is what i watched kanye have over and over and over again no matter how many times they said no to him he never gave up another thing i learned while watching this documentary is don't overthink so much and make opportunities happen. Now, I think we can all be a little bit guilty of waiting for things to happen, waiting for opportunities to happen. And the reality is, if you don't make some opportunities happen, most of the time, they're not gonna happen. Now, this is a little spoiler, but I'm gonna say it anyways. When Kanye walked into Def Jam Records and everybody was looking at him like he was crazy and he was just playing his music in every office he went into, like, and the ladies were just looking at him like he was crazy. The people that worked there, like, why am I listening to this guy's music? And he was just playing his music to them. And it's like such an iconic moment, right? Because they don't know who, they, they really didn't know who this man was gonna become. And as I watched Kanye just go to, from office to office, from person to person, just playing his music, doing whatever he had to do to get to the next level was really motivating and inspiring. A lot of the times we overthink stuff and that's why we don't get anything done. Sometimes you gotta put all that shyness to the side and just say, you know what? I don't care what anybody thinks of me. I came here for a reason. I'm alive for a reason. I'm gonna do whatever it is that I gotta do to make this happen. And that's exactly what Kanye did. He was himself in the beginning of this documentary and he hasn't changed even till now. I feel like he's the same person. He was constantly trying to find opportunities to make this happen. Even when he got signed to Rockefeller Records, things didn't turn up for him. He was still fighting for his chance of spotlight. And once he finally played his music to Jay-Z and he collabed with Jay-Z, Jay-Z finally gave him an opportunity and that's when Rockefeller Records took him a little bit more seriously. But you have no idea the amount of people he played his music to. He wasn't scared, he wasn't shy, he just said, I'm just gonna do this regardless of what anybody thinks of me. And I just really respect that. It just makes me think different of what I gotta do next not be scared of things that are gonna be in my way and try to never miss the opportunity and make different opportunities happen. When one opportunity doesn't happen, just go ahead and go make another one. Which leads me to the next thing I learned in this documentary is be consistent, but also be persistent. And in this new day and age, I don't mean persistent by spamming people. That's just annoying, don't do that don't ever spam. I mean, be persistent in the way that you can't stop pushing yourself to reach your goal. Whatever it is that you're trying to achieve or wherever it is that you're trying to get to, be persistent about it. Keep reminding yourself why you need to get there. Keep reminding yourself every single day. Don't ever let that stop. And the consistency is like super crucial. If you just wake up one day, you want to do this. Sometimes we wake up inspired. We see a video and you get inspired about something. And then the next day, it's like that inspiration is gone. It's, it's like, no, there was days where Kanye was really not feeling it. A lot of people were rejecting him, 
but he stayed consistent. He kept making music, he kept making beats, he kept going wherever he needed to be because he was looking for the opportunities regardless. He kept this vision in mind and he never let it go. We can definitely relate to being consistent now where we have social media, people that are posting content all the time, posting their beats, posting their track, people that are posting their music. Consistency is something that we just thrive on nowadays. It's something that we have to do, especially if you're making content, especially if you're on YouTube or Instagram, TikTok, wherever it is. You definitely know what I'm talking about when I talk about consistency, especially when you don't want to do something, still do it. It doesn't matter when you don't want to go to work, but you got to go to work, make that money. You still go, even though you don't want to go. It's the same thing. It should be even better because this is about your dream. So even when you don't feel the motivation, the inspiration that you need to feel to achieve the next step to get your dreams to come true, still do it anyways. Trust me, once you get in the studio or whatever it is that you got to be in, that motivation will come eventually. It will. Now, one thing that I did learn and it really hit me hard when I saw this is that tomorrow is not promised to anybody. Now, this can go either one or two ways. Like tomorrow's not promised to anybody, so I'm gonna grind hard. I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do because you know, I gotta live life to the fullest, YOLO, I only live once, I gotta grind, I gotta grind. But the second part is that you also have lo loved ones that love you so much, and I know you love them as well. So always keep them as your first priority. At some point, Kanye did have an accident. I know some of you guys might know this already, and that accident could have took him out. It could have cost him his life. Luckily, he was able to recover from that, but that doesn't always happen to everybody. And I see a lot of rappers that, you know, pass, that they get shot, they, they die. It's, things just happen to them. And I'm just like, you know, the fame and the fortune can't save them at the end of the day. The money cannot save you at the end of the day. So the grind is definitely good. Like, I'm not saying don't grind, don't go after your dreams. This is all we've been talking about this whole video but at the same time know when the balance is good for you know when you have to spend time with your family know when you have to go out and just get some fresh air know when you just have to put the phone down i gotta take some time for me i gotta do this because because i know what's good for me especially if you have wife you have kids like myself i'm definitely gonna prioritize them a lot more than i was already it's not easy sometimes when we're chasing something it's not easy especially if we have that like entrepreneurial mindset it's really really difficult so that's why i say like you know you never know when something can happen to you you know Unfortunately, it does. It's just life, things happen. So don't take anything for granted. Make sure you're always showing appreciation to the loved ones, to the ones you have closest to you, the ones that support you the most, and the ones that care for you so much just for being you. The last thing I'm gonna say here is never give up on your dreams. If this is not the message on this documentary, I don't know what it is. Like, if you haven't watched it, you have to. Like, this is just crazy. Never give up on your dreams. Kanye, as many times as he got rejected, I had no idea that he went through so much to get to where he was at. It just feels so realistic when you watch the documentary, like him like taking off his retainer and like just doing certain human things that you'd be like, that's Kanye doing that stuff, man. Like, it's crazy. Definitely don't ever give up on your dreams, whatever it is, it doesn't matter how old you are never give up on your dreams always keep pushing yourself because you never know when it's going to be your turn this documentary has really inspired me to just keep pushing forward and especially in this new era of like making content nowadays things are a little bit different in the music industry i know you still you know you can still go ahead and sign with a record label but there's so many different opportunities now to just be in to just be an independent artist or an independent producer producers are now like artists they're releasing beat tapes they're releasing singles on spotify of just their music and also artists are just releasing their songs whenever they want to release them like everything has really changed definitely have way more leverage now to go chase your dreams if you're making the right moves, if you're making content, if you're staying consistent, if you're following the right steps. Now, if you wanna see a really good inspiring story of my dude, Ocean, he's a producer, he's a YouTube content creator as well, and YouTube has changed his life, but he makes amazing beats. Go click on this video right here. You won't be disappointed in everything I ask him and how his life is now. But I'm gonna leave you guys with just this. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and comment down below if you watch the documentary or if you're gonna go watch the documentary now. Next time, stay blessed and stay positive, peace.